my third college admissions counselor, who shall remain nameless, died of spontaneous combustion. Or at least, that's what my dad told the authorities. Hello again, it's me, Jeffrey T. Duncan Platt Jr. And I'm applying to college. What have I been up to? After I was rejected from every school I applied to, including my safety rice, I took a gap year. I did some soul searching. A lot of soul searching. Now this time around, I'm not gonna be relying on privilege to get me into elite universities. I'm definitely not gonna mention my dad, Jeffrey T. Duncan Platt Sr., or the multitude of buildings on college campuses across America named after him. No. Privilege is out, which means I'll have to count on my superior standardized test scores and rigorous AP schedule. I haven't had the hardships that some people have had, not for lack of trying. And it's perfectly acceptable for college admissions officers to take that into account. No, my life hasn't been hard, but that doesn't mean that I haven't worked hard. I would say we're very middle class for Silicon Valley. Look, I believe in affirmative action. I mean, it's a necessary evil. I would say I'm socially liberal, but fiscally conservative. Do I need a spot at an elite university? What, you mean like, compared to someone else? I'm an ally. Okay, that's more than just a word. It's what I am. Sure, actions speak louder than words. But a picture is worth a thousand words. And I already posted a picture, so I don't just have white and Asian friends anymore, okay? I have female friends too. I understand better than anybody that women and people of color are underrepresented in high earning STEM fields. Which is why it's so essential for someone like me to go into those fields and change them. Look, I have privilege. I didn't want privilege, I didn't ask for privilege, but I have privilege. So now, I'm obligated to take that privilege and use it to help others. Although, now that I think about it, if I had even more privilege, I could help even more people. So really, I'm obligated to accumulate as much wealth and power as possible as much as it pains me personally to do so, to help others. Sure, I could throw away my privilege, or give up my privilege, get rid of my head start and level the playing field. But what good would that do? Oh yeah, dude, I'm a rich white guy. What an asshole, right? Look, I go to bed every night with nothing but a papery thin veneer of self-awareness, separating me from being a terrible person. So, ask yourself who's really got the time. <laughs> <laughs>